Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Welcome back to the Better, Brighter You segment brought to you by Suspera, the gold standard breakthrough in hyperpigmentation correction trusted by dermatologists worldwide. And today's guest is a powerhouse in pigment science. Dr. Jane Yu is a Korean-American dual board-certified cosmetic dermatologist and Mohs surgeon and a clinical assistant professor of dermatology at the ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai right here in New York City. She's trained at MIT, Harvard, Einstein, and Yale, and she's the founder of the Clinical Research Center of New York, where she leads clinical trials for top cosmetic, pharmaceutical, and energy device companies. She's on the Skin Cancer Foundation as a spokesperson advocating for better UV protection, sits on major scientific boards, champions diversity in dermatology, and because she's a force of nature, is also a six-star Abbott World Marathon majors finisher. Oh my gosh. Today, she's going to join us to decode the new era of pigmentation care, what's trending, what's changing, and how innovations like Suspera are transforming outcomes for all skin tones. Welcome to the show, superstar. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's you great are, to be here. I, I'm so excited to chat with you. You are our expert on the microphone today, and I can't wait to dig in. So, Dr. Yu, your practice sits at the intersection of high-level clinical research and real-world cosmetic dermatology in one of the most diverse cities on the planet right here in New York City. And that combination gives you a frontline view of skin behavior across ethnicities, lifestyles, and even genetics. You run one of the most respected cosmetic dermatology and clinic research practices in the city. What conditions do you treat most often? And how does the diversity of your patient population shape your approach? Well, that's a great question. First of all, New York gives me an incredibly diverse range of patients. So I see every type of pigmentation from melasma to PIH to sun damage. And because everyone's skin behaves differently, I customize treatments pretty carefully. So what works for one skin type might not work for another skin type. And what may work for one skin type may irritate another. So focusing on a lot of gentle, evidence-based approaches and long-term plans um, are essential for treatment. That makes a lot of sense because New York diversity requires New York dermatology. Yes, <laughs> and, and very personalized care too. Yeah, and it's not a one size fits all. And you're clearly, no. yeah, you're 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 clearly ta- tailoring care on a whole different level. Mm-hmm. Now we're also watching a cultural moment unfold: social media filters, heat exposure, stress, perimenopause, and even pollution are fueling an epidemic of pigmentation concerns and dermatologists across the country are reporting record numbers. So what trends or patterns are you seeing right now around pigment concerns, melasma, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or general skin health changes, particularly in such a diverse city? I think you just really hit the nail on the head because we're looking not only at internal factors, we're looking at external stressors as well. Um, You mentioned the perimenopause, you mentioned, you know, the UV, um, but lately I'm seeing a lot more post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or PAH, especially from acne and cosmetic procedures done outside dermatology offices. Uh, People are so much more aware of pigment thanks to the makeup-free trend, right? Patients want more non-hydroquinone options that they can use for the long term, and they're realizing that skin health and pigment are connected. So you you talk about like, you know, bare skin barrier issues and inflammation that always makes the discoloration worse, and you try to think of strategies to be able to overcome those. And the hydroquinone-free is such a powerful talking point because not all hyperpigmentation correctors are hydroquinone free. And we know that this particular company, Suspera, is clinically researched and clinically verified, which puts my mind at ease. And what, yeah. you, and what you just said is powerful and honestly reassuring because it helps people understand their skin isn't just acting up randomly. There are clear patterns and causes. No, yes, exactly. And um, the other thing is that it's such a gentle product um, and it's easy for people to use either men or women and um, associates with all different ages. And melasma especially is emotionally taxing. It's, it's chronic, hormonally driven, and just notoriously stubborn. And, and patients often describe it as the condition that controls them, not the other way around. So what is your overall treatment philosophy when approaching melasma and complex pigmentation disorders that tend to be chronic and difficult to manage? Well, when it comes to melasma or any other chronic pigment, it's like a long-term relationship. It's a long-term condition. 
Uh, it's all about controlling the inflammation. So there is redness underneath, repairing the skin barrier and keeping the skin calm. Um, avoid anything really too aggressive. So like lasers and peels can actually backfire on these patients. So you have to be really careful that you don't get um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, especially on your patients who are a little bit darker skinned. So slow and steady progress is always better. Sometimes you backtrack, sometimes you move forward. So it's always a lot of handholding with these patients. I love that. I mean, you're treating the person, not just the pigment. And that mindset alone can change someone's healing journey. Mm -hmm. Now, we know so many people come to you feeling defeated. They've tried lasers and peels and prescriptions and brightening creams and even TikTok told them to try <laughs> and nothing worked. When a patient comes to you after multiple failed treatments and feels like they've tried everything, where do you begin to reset their journey? Well, I start by simplifying everything. Um, we stop whatever is irritating the skin and just do a complete reset. Then um, also double checking the diagnosis is very smart because half the time when you think it's melasma, it's not. It might be post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. There might be some mixed pigment. There might be epidermal pigment. There might be dermal pigment. And from there, we have to develop a protocol that they can follow. That's the really um, number one thing, something that they can follow and to be able to set realistic expectations because all of this is not going to happen overnight. Yeah. And that's a relief for people to hear because there is a roadmap even after setbacks. Now, Suspera has gained a global following because it works differently. Cystamine is incredibly powerful, but in the right hands, it's transformative. And you're at the forefront of those protocols. How have you incorporated the Suspera system into your pigment protocols and what types of patients have you seen respond best? Well, I use Suspera a lot in my pigment protocols because it's both gentle and really effective. Again, use it for men and women um, of all ages. A cystamine plus isobiotic amide fits well into long-term pigment management. It works well for melasma, for PIH, and especially patients for which hydroquinone didn't work or people who are too scared to use hydroquinone. It's great for Pitsitatrix 3 through 6 because it doesn't cause the rebound pigment. And so I think it's a gentle enough product that can be used by anyone. It's science meeting precision, really. And the fact that it's suitable for all skin tones makes it a true game changer. Yes, for now, sure. Now, New York's climate is extreme. It's, it's extreme, right? There's scorching summers, there's freezing winters, and pigment often flares with heat, UV, and stress. Seasonal timing is really everything in this equation. So as the seasons are changing, what adjustments do you typically recommend to protect pigment progress and maintain healthy radi radiant skin year-round? Well, as seasons change, the plan changes too. Um, fall and winter are great for making progress because you have less sunlight. However, spring and summer are more about protection, what we achieved. So daily sunscreen, I can't emphasize that enough, um, being on the Skin Cancer Foundation. So um, that is always something that is non-negotiable with me and melasma patients or patients who are coming in for post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. If you don't have sunscreen, you can't see me, right? Because like, again, <laughs> the sunscreen is the most essential um, factor in the treatment protocol. That's, a, that's your staple. So you're going to go always back to the sunscreen. Um, reapplication too, um, avoiding heat. Uh, we know that like, you know, heat can also trigger the melasma and keeping really keeping the inflammation in check. So this consistent maintenance routine will prevent recurrence. And so like I always say, we're going, sometimes we're going backtracking and sometimes we're moving forward, but hopefully we're moving forward in the right steps. Well, that's such a valuable breakdown because people don't really realize how much the seasons change their skin chemistry, right? Yeah. And it's, it's a long, um, you know, it's a long journey. It's, it's not a sprint. I would say it's a marathon, right? So when you talk about melasma, um, the little changes can mean a lot. So again, it's just a staying the course. All right. Now, before we sign off, because we are at the end of our date, I want you to give me a little bit of insight into the world of artificial intelligence and how it's helping you advance your practice. Of course. So um, I am a huge proponent of AI. And I think one of the game changers is being able to utilize energy-based devices, lasers that are able to pick up different types of pigment, whether it's soil lentigos or PIH or other benign um, lesions. And so with these AI smart lasers, you can actually target the right type of pigment, even if you have someone who's not really experienced utilizing the laser. 
right? So the laser will actually be able to pick up on the pigment that it needs to target and avoid the pigment it doesn't. So I think that's where AI is going to be a game changer here. Well, you got a lot of tools in that toolbox, Dr. Yu. Now, we are at the end, and I can't thank you enough because this has been incredible. I learned so much. Thank you for sharing your expertise and really giving our audience a truly elevated understanding of pigmentation and modern dermatology. You are quite the expert on the microphone. Thank you so much. Ladies, gentlemen, if you want to learn more, you can follow her directly on the gram at JaneUMD. You can visit her on her website at JaneUMD.com, or you could head to BeautyTechDerm.com and check out her YouTube channel for tons of incredible videos and information at JaneUMDPLLC8080. I'm going to repeat that one, JaneUMDPLLC8080. And of course, today's Better, Brighter You segment is brought to you by Cispera, the clinically proven system trusted by dermatologists around the world for targeted pigment correction. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this. A Moment of Zen is brought to you by Cispera. If skin discoloration is making it hard to find your zen, Cispera can help. Stubborn pigmentation, dark spots, and uneven skin tone concerns go beyond the surface, affecting both confidence and self-expression. In a sea of skincare choices, Cispera stands apart. Backed by science and trusted by dermatologists worldwide, Cispera is powered by the advanced cystamine isobonic amide complex, delivering clinically proven results and effectively targeting mild to persistent discoloration while restoring the skin's natural glow. Unlike harsh treatments, Cispera is formulated for all skin types, including sensitive areas, ensuring visible improvements without irritation. Whether pigmentation is a new concern or a long-standing struggle, Cispera works in harmony with the skin to bring balance, clarity, and renewed confidence. Cispera is science-driven skin care for confidence that shines. Find your skin zen and restore your glow with Cispera today by heading to cispera.com. 